Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and this is another edition of Black in Business, where I talk about black people involved with business, entrepreneurship, finances, except owning businesses, etc. In this episode of Black in Business, we're going to talk about Celeste Betty, the first black woman to own a brewery in the United States. And this is her right here. This is her right here. All right. So typically, now I'm going to go by this article from the Black Detour. And this is supposed to be about the Harlem Brewer Company. Typically, when you think of beer, this is what the article says. In the U.S., the mainstream option options are Bud Light, Budweiser, Heineken, Guinness, and more. However, Celeste Betty is changing that narrative. Founding the Harlem Brewer Company, Betty founded the first black woman own brewer company in the United States. And this is the um the heart of the brewer. The business owner attempts to capture the legacy of Harlem and flavors of Africa. The one hundred and twenty five IPA is a beer named after Harlem's famous one hundred and twenty fifth street. It's just a very vibrant corridor from east to west of retail of culture of organization like the studio museum in harlem the thesis hotel the state office building betty said referring to beer the entrepreneur is a part of the change in the beer industry just by being in business african americans own less than one percent of all U.S. craft brewers, according to Bureau Association, which is unfortunately true. The report also says African Americans make up only 10% of weekly craft beers drinkers in 2016. When Betty first moved to Harlem, she said she was told when I came here more than 26 year, uh, years ago, I was told that Harlem was dangerous. Betty said one of her first jobs working in Harlem was at Ben and Jerry's Partner, which was located on what the New York Times dubbed the most dangerous block in America. When it comes to community, danger isn't something to run from, she said. It's something to run to and ask what is what that you need. For Betty, her brewers aren't just to make beer, but also to build strong community and place where African Americans live in poverty, according to Octo. Octo, we're looking for ways to celebrate the positive developments while acknowledging the dark days. Soletti's Betty says there are also there are. There are so many different people coming to these grounds and not just enjoying the beer, but reflecting on the history and then foregoing a new history together. All right. So shout out to this woman right here and continue doing business. Um, so if you live in Harlem, for those who may come across this vid video, um, you might want to check out her beers, her company, and etc. Um, but I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Once again, shout out to Celeste Betty, uh, being the first black woman to own a brewer, and hopefully keep up the good work. Maybe some of that beer will come around where I live if I decide to drink. But I want to know what y'all think in the comment section and description box. Um, 
make sure you like and share this video and also share this article I'll leave a link to this article in the description box and comment section if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're not getting any notifications check every once in a while to see if I made a, a new video every once in a while um, also unsubscribe then resubscribe and re-hit that notification that may reset for you to um, getting notifications um, also check this out different um, accounts um, and this is wherever you're watching the video either on YouTube black Junction black shares which I might leave some of the, my, the of the accounts in the description box and comment section as well for you to see if you want to follow me there but that's all I gotta say and this is another edition of black in business this is J dog thank you for watching and I hope to catch y'all in another video peace everyone